Hello everybody and welcome to the life of a board gamer. My name is Daniel and today we are going to do something that I didn't do really in a while and that, that is we are going to do an unboxing of Fireball Island, The Curse of Vulcar. It is a Kickstarter game, uh, this new reprint. We, this is an all-in pledge. Everything that was offered I took because I really wanted it and I hope it looks really awesome. So let's unbox it and let's see how it looks inside. Okay, first we have the main box and that is Fireball Island, The Curse of Volcar. So this is a reprint of very old game. I never played that old game, but this one was looked pretty interesting to me. So I decided I, I would back it and uh, well, actually I backed it because my son is probably going, going to be a gamer. I am going to try and influence him to be a gamer. If he doesn't want to be, that's totally fine, but I hope that we can play together this game sometimes when he's a little bit older. He's like six months now, so that really is... We're gonna have to wait a long, long time before he will be able to understand this game and everything. Okay, so uh, this is the main game and back looks really awesome. Uh, from looking of the quality of this game, this is really lame if you ask me now this is just a regular flimsy cardboard which i am really disappointed because this game didn't wasn't that cheap but okay i mean these components look great this looks really really nice i really like how this look it is sturdy plastic it's kind of a little bit flimsy but nothing special it's completely okay i'm fine with that but this cardboard quality this is just beyond me i don't think this will survive to see my kid playing with this game okay so what do we have let me just move this one over here so we have island that comes in three parts if i'm not mistaken okay yes so we have the island and i think it connects like this or maybe like this it's probably like this yeah so it connects like this then we have rulebook. It's just a regular rulebook. Nothing special. This game is pretty easy. There's not so much to learn here. Then we have a bunch of Fireball Island cards. And these cards are, uh, I think, I don't know what they are. I, I vaguely understand what, how to play this game. I saw some videos, but nothing much. I just how, liked how everything looks, but... So, yeah, you get a bunch of cards. These are probably to see who is playing which character. And then you have these cards that you probably play to get some extra move and stuff like that. And then you get some curses and whatnot. The artwork looks nice. The artwork is pretty nice, I must say. I, I really like it. I like how everything looks. The art is nice. The cards are feeling very thick, nice quality cards. They don't have linen finish, but that's not something I'm like, I must have, but I like to have in games. Okay, next thing, what we have here, we have some, we have some palm trees and some beads and dices and whatnot. Let's open it up and see what we have. And I should probably be very careful to not cut myself okay so what we have here are some leathers or whatever they are then we have some palm trees that needs assembling if I'm correct not sure how they go really are they go like this No, probably not okay let's try and see how we can Now I'm not really sure how to connect this one. Okay, let's continue. So yeah, we have these, we have players. Each player gets its own. Where's the fourth one? So here's the fourth one. So these are the players. They're okay, they're, I don't know if you can call these miniatures. I mean, they are miniatures, but they are, they're, look, they're looking okay. Maybe I will paint them, who knows, maybe. And then we have some more bags inside the bags. It's a bag inside the bag of the bag. 
Okay, so let me, where's my scalpel? Let's open it up and see what are these. So what we get here, and I think I got some replacement marble cube, marble balls. So I have this gem that I'm not sure what is used for. We have one translucent orange dye that has some weird damage on it on it it's like the colors didn't do no, I, no it's not damage it's how it looks it looks oh, it looks cool it looks cool it looks like a damage at first but when you look more closely closely it it has some st streaks inside it it's really maybe hard to see for you but and then we get a bunch of these i don't know if they're glass or whatever they are but i think these are replaced some of these at least are replaced with this one and these uh, are from the kickstarter edition it says here these are deluxe marbles so yeah these probably change these are replaced with these this one as you can see they're like a little bit translucent with some fiery stuff in them i don't know how to explain it really and then we have these marbles which look really cool to replace this one but there's nothing wrong with this 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 also look really cool these 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 i'm constantly saying these i don't know why okay let's continue so what else we have we have vulcar itself i guess so he okay let me just throw this away Okay, so we have this guy over here, he goes on this part over here and then he slides around and basically what you do in this game is you throw your uh, you throw your balls, marbles, however you want to call it, you throw them in here and they go either left, center or right most of the time. I'm not sure how this works and how it chooses where it wants to go, but it is what it is. Looks cool. Maybe need some more painting, like some fiery eyes or something. I'll probably paint that just just because because I really want to see this game like these creeks, these crevices should be like fiery. I'll probably do that. Okay, so one last thing in this box, and let me just move this flimsy garbage aside. We have a punch board. And you probably have to assemble lots of these. So let's just quickly punch something out and see how thick it is because it doesn't look really that thick. Oh yeah, it's okay. It's fairly nicely thick. It's nothing special, but they're not flimsy thin like these boxes. This box is horrendous. And yeah, that is what you get in a base game. And now uh, let me just move all this aside and then we'll start with expansions. Okay, next one is Fireball Island, Wreck of the Crimson Cutlass. Okay, so let's open this one and see what we have inside. Now, right from the start I see that this is the same quality box, which is not. And I'm really disappointed by it, you can probably hear it in my voice, but overall the background looks nice, it shows you really what you get in here. So let's take a look what we have. Okay, so we have some more bags, cards, and we have this sh derelict ship that you can probably go around and do something. And we have rules. So yeah, that is that. That's everything. Let's go in a closer inspection. So this is like the island itself, material, sturdy, plastic little bit flimsy but not that it warps by the weight of something or stuff like that but it looks looks interesting looks like looks like nice expansion and then we have the rules and how you play with this expansion and then we have a bag full of thingies that probably you have to assemble okay well, let's see what we have we get some new cards that are connected with this expansion i presume they give some new stuff or some new challenges or quests or whatever you do 
in this game. Let me just move this aside and let's rip this open. Okay, so basically you get more cards that are involved with this expansion specifically in a way I presume I still didn't get to play the game even though my friend has it and he played it I was supposed to play it with him but then I got uh, derailed by my child so I did not have time for that and then we have some more bags in bags let's see what we get in here and in here we have a sticker that goes on one of these plastic parts, I guess on this one. Okay, we'll sticker that later. And then we get some more marbles in different colors. And some more gemstones. Purple gemstones, some more of these red. With This one has like a damage on itself, very weird. And then we have some of these blue, well not blue, it's like dark blue. Are they transparent? No, they're not like dark blue black marbles and we have over here of course this is the mast and parts of the ship so let's try and see if we can assemble it let's see how it looks assembled so i guess these cannons these cannons they go over here in a way in some sort we can rotate them or probably they're like pinballs or something I'm not really sure Okay, and this one goes over here, I guess, since it's front of the ship, right? And then what we have here is probably this goes... I'm not really sure what goes where. I don't want to take much of the time figuring that out right now. But basically, yeah, you get all of these components that you can assemble a ship or something like a wrecked ship or stuff like that. And that is that, that's what you get in this expansion and let me just move this aside and we'll go to the small expansions. Okay, next up we have the small expansion called The Last Adventurer and let's see what The Last Adventurer brings to us. Okay, so what do we have here? Oh, we got some spot UE. Who cares? Okay, same rubbish cardboard. And this looks like doesn't even need to be in here. Okay, so more cards connected to this expansion itself. And let's just quickly go through them and see how they look and what they bring you. I guess they bring you the fifth player. The red one, this is the fifth player. I'm not sure if it's, if it's just a fifth player or a different color. But yeah, you get some more cards that are connected with this expansion and some new stuff that this expansion brings. And then we have another bag with some more thingies. And what we have in here, we have this big boulder and this is actually foam i don't know if you can see but it actually jumps around now that's very interesting whoops it almost tried to escape and then we get this snake statue of sort and we get the fifth explorer the red one and we got some marbles in in green color not sure what they're used for but it looks really nice green color and we have some snake tokens of course we get some rules and that's that that's what comes in this expansion now let's move this aside and let's unbox the last small expansion okay last small expansion is called crouching tiger hidden bees and these introduce some new marbles if i saw correctly and a tiger that you can flip around in a very nice way okay so some more cardboard that we don't need and we have some new cards let's just there's a hole here so let's start cutting from inside you're probably really scared when you're watching me working that exact knife but 
or scalpel. I don't know what the correct word is, but trust me, I do care about my game. So we got some explanation for these cards that are new for this expansion. You get some new stuff. Nothing much, really, just a few cards. And you get some B tokens and some B hives that can, you can put assemble in like 3D form and you get rules. And of course you get bags with some honeybee cone or, or what, I don't know, whatever this is. And you, you get, I think that you pour your marbles from this thing somewhere, not really sure. And you get a bunch of, you get a bunch of these yellow marbles that are the same size as those green ones that you just saw in that expansion previously shown. And these are like some bees probably that attack you. And one last thing, you get this tiger, half tiger, half uh, contraption to flick him. So basically what you do is you push it down and when you release it, he jumps. So you're probably trying to aim at other and hit them with the tiger or something like that. Not really sure. Okay, so that is that. Just one final deck of cards to unbox and that is it. Let's just move this side. Okay, so last thing to unbox is we get these promo cards from the Secret Cabal. These are the Secret Cabal, that podcast that I never listened to but I know about. So I got just this one card and this, these are, what, is, what does it say? What game do you think is ready to be restored? Let us know where restoration games. Yeah. And I'm not poisoned by snakes, says on a card. Not really sure how it works or what it does, but okay. And then we have this deck of cards called uh, Fireball Island Treasure Trove. So basically these are just a bunch of cards and let's try open this without a knife because I think it's possible. And just throw this away because we don't need it. Who needs plastic? Okay. So let's see what we have here. Okay, so we have a ton of cards. Fireball treasure throw cards. There are four different types of cards in this pack. New souvenirs, stuff like that. So you get bunch of different cards that give you some these are blanks so you can probably create your own if you are up to it i never use this for that and there's like the selfie stick card and t-shirt cannon bunch of i think these are uh, some kickstarter exclusives maybe or something like that i'm really not sure and you get some more blanks to create these types of cards with it but basically you just get a bunch of cards to have some more variation in your game and also one last thing that you get in here in with this uh, Kickstarter is really this nice uh, poster. And I think that I will even, it will hang it on the wall. I have to find the, the right uh, uh, frame for it. But I think I should hang it in my filming studio. It would look really nice. And yeah, that is that. That's everything. Okay, so that was it. That was Fireball Island. Now, I didn't do this unboxing in a while, but I was really... Looking forward to this one to see how everything looks. Uh, the box are really, it, it's its a shame how they look. They should definitely uh, made because this was really not that cheap of a Kickstarter. But those boxes, they are really, really cheap. I hope the game is good. Uh, I know it's basically not so much the game as it's just like light fun. But that's what I'm expecting from it. Just a light, crazy, quick fun. You flick some things around, some marbles, some tigers and stuff like that, and you are over with it. Yeah, that is that. Uh, I like Oral. I really like it. I like this poster. It will probably go on a wall somewhere behind me, up there, where you don't see, where the camera is not filming. Just because I can. Not sure why. Yeah. Okay, so thank you for watching. That is that. Until next time. Pozdrav. This video was brought to you by filibertnet.com, the game in all its states.